This is to both of you. What excited you about becoming part of the Mar Marvel Cinematic Universe? What excited me about becoming part of the Marvel Cinematic Universe was that I'm a, I'm a fan of the movies, I'm a fan of the world, and, um, and have been watching them for years. And so to be entering it in, in such a cool way, in such a cool movie, was um, was thrilling. I, I mean, it's I, I like I love the idea of um, many different characters coming together and having their difficulties and overcoming their difficulties and fighting for a common cause and and that's that's a really strong theme for me. So that's what excited me. What excited me about joining the Marvel Universe is, I mean, of course, the, all the incredible movies that they've already made. I was a big fan. Um, my family was excited for me. Everyone was really excited. I was also thrilled to be working with all these experienced, you know, producers and actors and to be able to be a part of this incredible project. Kit, your character Jane is not a superhero. How does he fit in and what does he represent in the story? Uh, Dane is not a superhero um, in this in this movie. Uh, he fits into this world as the sort of human representative. Um, he uh, is one of the few human characters in the movie, and, and as such, um, the, the kind of burden on me was to try and be as, um, I guess, savable as possible. You'd want to kind of represent humanity to be savable. So that's who he is in this in this movie. He also is in in love with Cersei um, and uh, has a relationship with her and um, and I'm uh, tasked with setting off the movie at the start. Leah, tell us how Sprite feels being internally stuck in a 12 year old's body. Was that interesting to play and why? It was really interesting to portray Sprite's emotions and being 7,000 years old stuck in the body of a child because I've sort of related to that during my life, always feeling like I'm stuck being really young. I brought that to the character, I feel, and Chloe was really helpful in um, making me a lot, or making my character a lot like me, so it was um, easier to portray because I related to her a lot. Kit, what does director Chloe's Zhao bring to the production? Chloe Zhao uh, brought to this production her incredible style as director. Um, she shoots in a very specific way with a kind of roving camera style and on location as much as possible. And I feel with that, she brought to um, this movie, she brought the real world into the MCU in some way. She. Um, that's, that's what I think she brought. A lot of detail went into superhero costumes. Leah, can you describe yours and what it felt like when you put it on for the first time? My costume, I mean, it was beautiful, spectacular. I can't even believe that they made, I think there was like 10 of them made for my stunt doubles and for me and extras and backups. And I mean, it was really incredible. Such talented work by the costume makers. I mean, putting it on for the first time was amazing. And once it was on for a little, it was uncomfortable. But um, it was, it felt really powerful. I mean, it really brought me into the superhero mindset. <laughs> this is to both of you, without spoiling anything. Do you have a favorite moment or scene? What's your favorite one? You go first. Mm, it's, it's a spoiler, so I have to think of another one. My favorite moment in the movie is when I call Cersei and she looks at the phone, sees my face and hangs up. <laughs> There's a reason for that. <laughs> my favorite moment, well, one of my favorite moments in the movie is when Icarus and Dane meet for the first time, it's really funny because they're sort of challenging each other and fighting over the girl a little bit. And the whole audience laughed during the screening and I thought it was a really funny moment. This is to both of you. Did you like shooting on location and why? And what was your favorite shooting location? I'll answer this because I loved shooting on location because the location was 20 minutes from my house. You walked there. I walked there. Um, 
I said, I stipulated in my contract, I'm not doing this Marvel movie unless it's 20 minutes or less from my house. <laughs> my favorite shooting location, I mean, I think the Canary Islands is one of my favorite shooting locations. It was just so beautiful and it was almost a vacation from the work because it felt like spring, you know, we were swimming and going on boats and things like that. So it was a lot of fun. If you could describe this movie in one word, what would it be and why? It's not a generic movie. So I don't want to use a generic word. Um, artful. If I could describe this movie in one word, I would say different. Nice. All right, that's it. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you very much. Yeah.